Good afternoon, y'all. It's beautiful Saturday afternoon. It's a very, very nice day. I'm not sure how hot it is out there. I haven't been out. But I went to the door. All I know is too cold in here for me. I just tried to turn my air conditioner off. It was too cold for me. I keep walking to the door, letting the sun shine on me. But um, anyway, I just stopped by just to say hello. I'm just sitting back waiting on my granddaughter and the baby. She wanted me to go with her to the store. <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing nothing. But she said she wanted me to go to the store. I want to ride out to the store with her. Yeah. I did have a little company earlier. My ex Marvin, he stopped by. He came to get this darn old chair out of here. That blue chair. Blue reclining chair. I've had for a long time. He wanted it. I told him, you can have it. Because I'm kind of trying to get some stuff out of here. I'm tired of stuff looking cluttered. And I, when he was here, I was looking around, thinking about anything else I could give him. I wish I could have gave him my sofa. I don't need but his love seat, what I said on. <laughs> I guess I better keep it for my family and stuff come here. Well, I swear, I, and I want to get rid of this coffee table, because they're always messing it up. Every time I have to leave here, I got to clean it. I'm ready to get rid of that. Give myself a little teeny one, a little small one. Yeah, I'm tired of all this mess. Mm -mm. And there's the end table sitting over here. Oh, that's definitely going. It's going. I start to get rid of it this morning. But that's that's got to go. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I have a little uh, TV tray or something I want to use it to for something. Uh-uh. Just tired, tired. Been in my bedroom this week in the closet. In my bedroom closet, but just down at the bottom. I've been just looking to see what I got back in there. There's stuff from Christmas gifts and things back in there. I had to pull all that stuff out and I had to order these big tall bags with zippers on them. I don't stack my stuff in there and things I don't want. I don't put it in the bag. When I, and then when I go through the clothes, I got a whole bag of shoes. When I go through the clothes and stuff, that's when I'm going to call the people so they can come and collect it. You know, give it away. Because some of this stuff is good stuff. The things that ain't no good, I know I wouldn't use. I won't give it to nobody. I throw that in the dumpster like I did. Because I, I even took the, t took the um, I had a swivel chair in my room. That thing keep breaking up every time you sit down. There ain't no thing going down. I guess my butt too heavy for it or something. But anyway, I don't got rid of that thing. I got the boy to take it out to the dumpster for me. Yes, indeed. I'm, I'm, try I'm just trying to change things around. The dresser I got in my bedroom is really too big, but it's a very nice dresser. I really, really like it. So I'm going to try and hold on to that, you know. So I'm just trying, trying to, I don't know. There's just too much stuff, too much stuff to clutter. I don't like it. I don't want people to think I'm a hoarder. <laughs> Which I'm not. Those are things I need. Things I need. What Christina is, they thought I was a hoarder because I don't, I don't want to throw away things. They are gonna see how much I be throwing away this week. I'm gonna start up, start again, cause I got some thing of shoes up on top of my closet. I gotta get those. Then I start going through the clothes. Then in the other room, across from my room, I call it my pantry. I got a whole closet full of clothes over there. I can see what I got doing stuff down at the bottom. See what's in there. And some stuff I can probably pack it, put it away. What I'm not using right now. And just mark it so I know what it is. And just slide it down in the basement. The basement is nice and clean. Down there, yeah, I can put it right right in there. That's what I'm, that's, that's what I'm trying to do, trying to work on. You know, it's hard doing anything by yourself. When you're going through things and some days you're not feeling your best, you know. So you just got to take your time and do it. And that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking my time and do it. Yeah. Look, y'all see my hair, don't you? Christine came on through for her mother. Oh, little thing. Bless her little heart. Sometimes she don't feel her best, but she came on and did this for her mother. I had to trim this later on, put some nail around there and trim that later. I didn't want to do it before she done it because it probably would have stung when she put that relaxer in my hair. It was looking better than this, but you know how your hair sweat at night and it just dropped. Just dropped on her own. I ain't had nobody to sweat it out. 
It dropped on its own. That's it. Anybody sweat a muscle with Jesus. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Maybe so I'm waiting for these guys to come by and bring me this book. How these people walk around from a different church and everything. And and I talked to them one day this week. I was staying out there. They came to a couple of nice young men. And I said I talked with them a long time. They want to bring me this book by. So he told me they're running late, but he'll bring it. But he's going to drop it by. So I'm come on in and drop it by. Well, anyway, I just wanted to jump on here and say hello. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, blessed day. Make it a blessed one anyway. Make it a wonderful day anyway. No matter how you feel in your body or even mentally and emotionally, how you're feeling, you know. Things ain't going right for you anyway. Just, just, just go ahead and have a good day anyway. Just throw that stuff to the side. You know, because you know it ain't going to last forever. It won't be like that forever. He's going to bring you through it. That's our Lord Jesus Christ. He's going to bring you through it. All you got to do is ask him. Ask him. That's it. Talk to him. Talk to him. People talk about they can't pray. You can pray. Pray just talking to your father. Talk to him. That's what you do. Mm. All the guys are here now. So, I'll get back with you all. Okay, y'all can come in. Come in. Well, anyway, y'all just know that I love you. But most of all, Jesus loves you.